All right, what's up? Jason here back with you. Got some more SMMA 2.0 training for you. This training is going to be applicable to anyone who's in the social media marketing agency space, um, creative space, any kind of marketing in general, uh, SaaS um, agencies, and basically, and if you're running the agency, this is definitely a must watch for you. In my opinion, this is going to be one of the most important videos um, that I kind of put out on the channel, and it is where to get clients where do you get clients right the people to pay you money right so up to this point on the channel we've covered a few few kind of basics around the smma 2.0 in the end it's just a different way of doing business in terms of the way we offer services what services we offer uh, i forgot to put our, the third one but the services we talked about um, so far is message marketing, which is really just a combination of text and email marketing. Then there's lead generation, that may be Facebook ads, maybe Google ads, depending on the type of business and the offer you're promoting. And then we have SEO or search engine optimization. These are the core services of our SMMA 2.0 um, business. And we talked about selling, right? We talked about different ways to sell. We talked about um, different ways to, to kind of structure the business in terms of offering our services. But when it comes to getting clients, there is a, um, there, there is a lot of options out there, right? There's some people who go straight to, all right, do cold calling. Let's do cold emailing. Um, there's voicemail drops there. There's all kinds of things out there. Um, but when it comes to getting clients, when it comes to doing anything, I like to have the odds in my favor that I'm going to succeed. And there is one place in the history of getting clients. When I started my agency back in 2012, um, I took it from $0 to six figures using this one prospecting method, this one source of client getting. And over the course of the last six, over six years, I've taught thousands of other, um, you know, people, people who are wanting to start their own agency, other consultant, marketing consultants and whatnot. I've taught them um, how to set up an agency, how to, how to do things. And this is the, the number one service that they have used to get clients in the history of me teaching anyone to do this. Um, and it is the number one place I recommend everyone who is just getting started to build the foundation of their prospecting around this source. And it's what I like to call computers reach, okay? Computers reach. And I gave it just a, this nice little nickname here. It is any kind of essentially site where you can operate from the computer and go to where people are already asking for help, okay? So the, the, the premier website that does this is Upwork, okay? So you guys might be familiar with this now that I said the said one of the names. Okay, there are other sites like this. I used Freelancer back in the day because um, Upwork didn't exist when I got started. Upwork um, didn't, didn't come out until a little later after um, I had gotten started. I, I actually used a predecessor to Upwork. Upwork used to be Elance and Odesk. Um, I was on Odesk back in the day, but I started off on Freelancer, um, started... Uh, landing clients, getting clients, and then wanted to expand um, to other sites that were popping up and uh, or that were out there. So I went to uh, decided to get on Odesk, um, and then between you know between those two sites, again easily got to six figures, and um, and that was the and this was the basis of me just stacking up clients and being able to consistently get clients, essentially anytime I wanted them. Um, not on demand, but when I needed clients, I, it was usually because I stopped prospecting and all I would do is get back to prospecting, get into my routines of doing computers reach and um, I would start landing clients again. So let me just show you what this is about. This is not going to be an in-depth tutorial on Upwork. I just want to kind of show you exactly why this is what I recommend. If you're out there and you run an agency and you're trying to get clients, this is where I suggest you start and you build a consistent routine around this. Now in a later video, I will talk about consistent routines around prospecting and how to layer different prospecting methods, but this I just wanna focus on 
just this prospecting method here. And so it is really as simple as this is a site where businesses, people from around the world show up and they say, I need help with X and I have money in my hand. Someone take my money. That's essentially what computers reaches. It's essentially what Upwork is. It is basically a place where businesses show up and they say, hey, I want help with Facebook ads. I want help with Google ads. I need SEO help. A plethora of other things that people ask for help on. And we'll look at that here in a second. But this is literally a place where they're just showing up with money in their hand saying, take my money. You don't have to wonder what is their intent. I wonder if they're going to buy or not, right? You don't have to figure that out. You don't have to worry about, oh, man, I don't want to cold call anyone. I don't want to bother someone. These are people showing up and they will cry if you do not respond to their bids, right? They are expecting you to reach out to them, okay? That's literally the only reason they're here, and they have confirmed money. These these businesses aren't allowed to post on these sites unless they put a percentage of the money into an escrow. So they can't even get their post published asking for help unless they prove that they have money um, to support the project. So let's just take a look, really simple, how easy uh, how easy it is. So you know, knowing what my services are, you know, message marketing is text and email marketing, lead generation, Facebook, Google ads, SEO, search engine optimization. Let me just show you how easy it is. So I like to have a couple core group, uh, a core group of keywords that I search. <clears throat> now, of course, you'll be logged in and set up your profile. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just going to go to jobs, which you can see here is apply to jobs posted by clients. And let me just type in Google. Okay, as you can see, there's different little things popping up. Um, so like Google ads, I like to just type in the root word, kind of the basic core keyword, because all these things will show up. Let me just show you when I hit enter, it'll pull anything that has Google in the headline, Google in the name. Okay. And so this is what I like to do. I just like to look and just say, all right, can I do this? Right. You can see Google automation specialist, nothing up my alley, um, spreadsheet, blah, blah, blah. Small marketing agency needs Google business expert, local search ads, right? So that might be something I would open up to take a look at. Let me go back. Oops. Um, hey, look, here's a Facebook ad specialist. Um, I don't know why that popped up in the Google, probably because they marked Google. Okay, yeah, so they marked it down in their category, but that's perfect. I do Google, I do Facebook ads, right? Let me open that up. Um, Google Sheet, blah, blah, blah. Look, Google Ads Manager, okay? So, I mean, look... It, in less than 30 seconds, while I'm talking to you and reading these things and showing you how slow, I mean, I'm just kind of doing this slow. I've already found three opportunities that meets the criteria of what my agency can do. Okay. My agency offers these services. And again, within less than 30 seconds, I've already found three opportunities for me to submit essentially a proposal to these people to get awarded a project right? Look, Google ads for my wrongful death firm. That's a law firm, right? So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't take a long time and I'm just searching Google, right? I haven't done any searches for Facebook, um, which, you know, we already seen a Facebook ads post. Uh, we already seen a Facebook ads post already. And I haven't even searched for Facebook yet, but I can keep going on here. Look, here's SEO stuff, AdWords. So every PPC, I guarantee I'll, I'll find in here somewhere. So, Bottom line is, as you can see, I can literally just go and search around keywords around my specific services, right? And then ultimately bid on these projects. Now, just let's just open up one uh, or one of the ones I open. And you can just see here, look, all the way I like to do it is if I remotely, if it remotely falls into something I can potentially do. I will submit a bid because in the end, in the end, the way this works is these projects, okay, these projects, okay, there's been less than five proposals. It tells you all the different things. I don't pay attention to this stuff. I'm all about being a robot and just putting in, putting in my bids. But what happens is eventually these people are going to start reaching out to people who submit proposals. They're going, to start, they're going to start looking at the proposals. They're going to say, all right, based on what I've seen, I like what this person said. I like what this person said. I like what this person said. So I'm now going to reach out to them, okay? This is what the, the poster will do. So if one of my, if my proposal 
to them is something that they're that they feel okay well this person is someone we like to talk to they will message me on the platform and say hey we're seeing that you applied to our job we're potentially interested in working with you here are some questions for you right so they're going to interact with you so i typically don't worry about what budget they put what hour i don't worry about all this junk here i don't care about any of this stuff all i know is i do google ads i can do pay-per-click I'm going to submit my bid and then I'm going to move on, right? Because it's not real time. I'm not going to submit my bid and they're just magically waiting there for me. I'm going to keep going. That's why the way I do this is what you kind of seen. Anything that I remotely think I can do, I just open up in a new tab and I keep flying through. Okay. This should only take you in my, in my, in my, when I was very consistent doing this, it, it, less than 30 minutes, less than 15 minutes a day. And you can bid because all you're doing, if you show up every day, you're just looking at the opportunities that have been posted since the last time you looked, right? So once I look through all these today, eventually I will, I will start seeing ones that I seen yesterday. And I say, oh, okay, cool. So I've seen all the ones that are new. I'm done for the day. Now I'm just waiting on people to respond, okay? And so it's really that simple. It's really that simple. And this is how you're going to get into more conversations around people who are already interested in hiring someone. And because I... And reaching out to them, or sorry, I'm submitting my pro proposals on the projects that I want to, right? It's all stuff I can do, right? So it's all stuff I'm not worried about, oh, can I do this or not? It, it, I'm the one reaching out to them saying, yeah, I can help you with that. Now, again, you know, in, in some of the other videos, I've talked about being a CEO. It doesn't mean, you know, again, if I'm just getting started and I'm not super confident in doing Facebook ads yet, it's not going to stop me from bidding on Facebook ads jobs because I can outsource that. I can partner up with someone. I can do other, I can bring in someone else to actually do the fulfillment. Okay. So this is just, this, is, as you can see, this is a very powerful prospecting method. And, you know, obviously we're going to usually align it with our services, but maybe you have some other skills, right? Maybe you have some skills in you know powerpoint or something so i can maybe search powerpoint look it already pops up so let me just search powerpoint really quick oh sorry that's talent again when you're logged in it will uh you'll be looking at jobs and stuff so so maybe so maybe on top of my agency skills my services maybe i also have other skills well go ahead and take a look and see if there's other things that you can do as well. Why is this important? Is because maybe you find someone, maybe, right, this is my agency stuff. So I'm constantly looking at projects that have been posted for my agency services. However, maybe I'm also good at putting together PowerPoint decks. A benefit of taking a look at something else you're good at, other skills or things that you can handle and fulfill, is because maybe I find some easy PowerPoint deck template that someone wants me to put together, I get it done for them. Guess what happens? Well, I the the project gets awarded to me, okay, which benefits my profile, makes my profile stronger. I get paid, right? Every time you get paid, it adds to your profile, makes it stronger. But more importantly, I get a review, right? At the end of the project, you'll get a review. That five-star review I get for putting together a pitch deck on PowerPoint, it's it's the same five-star review that someone gets asked to build a million-dollar website or something, right? Say I got paid 20 bucks to put together a PowerPoint pitch deck and got a five-star review. It That five-star review now goes on my profile. So when I am bidding on the Google Ads, PPC, people are going to be able to see that I have a five-star review, I have a five-star rating. And the more of those I rack up, as you get going, your profile gets stronger and stronger and stronger over time. Now, what I don't want anyone to sit there and say is like, well, if I have no reviews, how am I ever going to get a project? Get out of that mindset. Just submit bids and you will, if you stay consistent, you will get projects, okay? It just happens. Or else no one new would ever be able to get started, right? If, if, if no one can get a project until they have a review, right? It's the chicken versus the egg thing then no one knew would ever, never have ever, ever, ever gotten a project because they would never have had a review, right? So don't have that mindset. You just be consistent here. But looking for little projects, right, is another way to help rack up reviews faster, which will strengthen your profile and help you stand out 
uh, more so when you are amongst a sea of other people bidding. But if you just focus on coming to stuff like uh, to to sites like Upwork, Upwork is where I'd recommend everyone start. It is kind of the the premier version, um, the premier, the flagship, if you will, um, computers reach site. Um, there are other sites. Again, there's Freelancer, which kind of overrun the spam a little bit. Um, there's guru.com, which is another popular one, not as popular as Upwork, but it's a, another one. Again, same kind of skills that, that you can find, um, or sorry, same kind of people wanting this, your services, just like on Upwork. It's just a different site. And the cool thing is, is what I put on my profile in guru, uh, is probably is the same thing. I'm going to put it on in my profile in Upwork, the same bidding script that I'm going to use in uh, Upwork is the same one I can use on Guru, okay? So in the end, if I just stay consistent and build my prospecting strategy around a strategy that is a warm prospecting, meaning people are coming to me and they already want services, they already got money in my hand, it increases the odds that I will get a, uh, a client versus starting with something like a cold call. Now, the benefit of cold prospecting is I have scale. Like I can reach out to an unlimited amount of people. However, for this, I have to wait until projects are posted. So I like to have a mix of the two, but this right here is what I recommend everyone build their foundation on. This is the first thing I'm putting in place because it is literally people already with money in their hand, already wanting services, I get consistent here, and then I layer on other prospecting methods on top of this. Now, what kind of um, searches would I do? You've seen one I did one on Google. Well, I would do, I do a Google search, I do a Facebook search, okay? I do email marketing, I do SMS marketing, I do SEO, and sometimes I'll do something like a PPC because sometimes people say Google ads, sometimes people say pay-per-click. Um, and then I'll do, sometimes I'll do a lead generation because sometimes people say that versus saying they want ads. Um, and then I will also occasionally do a marketing search, which will bring in just a bunch of different things. It means why I have to sort through things, but it will bring in a lot of things because some people just say, Hey, I want marketing help. They don't say I want Facebook ads. They just, they just want, they just want marketing. They don't know what's the best thing. Right? So I like to start with the with the, the the kind of the obvious standouts based on my service and then once i get into the routine <clears throat> again once i go through the jobs today and then i show up tomorrow to look i'm only looking for the th i'm only going to be looking and seeing the things um once i get to stuff i've already seen before i stop right so as i get more consistent in the searches i'm not it's it's going to take me it's going to be quick for me to fly through and see what's been posted new. As that starts happening, then I start adding in more searches, right? So I can have a more variety of a thing uh, of things to look at every single day. Okay, so this is it right here. If I'm get if I'm running an agency of any court uh, of any kind, SMMA, um, SaaS, um, definitely the SMMA 2.0. This is exactly what I'm using to kickstart my prospecting, and get clients, start putting money in my pocket and then be able to expand my prospecting, expand my uh, methods uh, from this, right? Money gives me options and I need money. This is where I'm gonna get it, all right? If you like this video, hey, if you're already using this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Um, I might uh, throw, haven't decided yet, I may throw, if I get enough interest on this video, I may throw um, my bidding script template into the uh, description. I may put that in the link. If I see enough interaction on this video, I may, I'll go back and edit it and do that. Um, hey, I'll see you in another video. Cheers.